I have to try these. I have to. I'm sorry. Elvis's ghost. Lost some weight, Elvis? You blew it, bub. Uh-oh. He's laughing! I'm back here. Why? Ah! Welcome to Magic Mountain! Now go home! Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Quest for Glory 1 VGA. How are you guys doing all? How is life? How is the family? How is your beautiful Sunday? How is the beautiful summer? Canada Day just happened yesterday at the time that I'm recording this. I'm recording this on the 2nd of July. There we go. 2017. And it's a pretty good day. It's a pretty good day. It's warm outside, and the weather is not too bad here in Canada. It's a little bit hot, surprisingly, even though we're in the northern country where everyone says we live in igloos. So that's that. We have a summer. Believe it or not, we have a summer. But yeah, it's a little bit hot over here, and I'm just here recording this video for you guys. <laughs> that's how I'm taking advantage of my beautiful summer. Great, great. I, I mean... I, I, I kind of have to do this because I want to finish this game, I like this game, and I'm not really posting any videos for you guys on YouTube in the last while. I'm kind of neglecting my YouTube schedule completely. <laughs> Let's just say in the last month I only posted this series and nothing else. I'm gonna get this fixed though. I'm going to continue the other ones when my life gets a little bit less busy because right now it's a little bit all over the place so I'm going to wait a bit before doing that. Let's restore the game and let's start this off by actually going inside Baba Yaga's hut again. I want to see if there is something else to do there or if she's just going to kill me as soon as I enter. Let's see. Right. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure the only thing I needed to do with her was not just to uh, get her mandrake root and then it'd be done already. So, what's the rhyme? Hot and brown, now we sit down. Okay, now will I die or am I going to be okay? That's my question. Let's see. You again? Oh no. What? Okay. Yay! I'm actually... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hold on a minute. Bob, Bob, Bobby, 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 <laughs> Bobby, what the... <laughs> yes, yes, why not? Bobby, Bobby Yaga. Okay, Bobby Yaga. Hello, Bobby Yaga. Okay, let's look around. I can, I can actually control... Well, I can just look around, it seems. If you didn't know better, you would swear the mural on the wall looks just like an underground cave. Powers that rule over regions soggy. Change this creature back into a froggy. Oh, dang it. You kidding me? No! Ooh, yummy! I'm glad you returned! Baba Yaga says you have good taste. Before you confront someone who is obviously more powerful than you are, give yourself a chance to reflect. Wait, I have access to my inventory! Oh, I have to beat her somehow! How do I do that? What is this? One Thieves Guy License. What would she want? Can I kill her? No, I cannot. Bobby Yaga, I need something to beat her. I have no idea what. You want troll beard? No. Do I have to try every single item I own? That would be lame. 
The spell potion breaks enchantments. No, never mind. That's for that's probably for the Baron's daughter. Oops, wrong button. Um, do I have anything I could use? I don't think I do. Can I pay you? No, <laughs> I cannot. Well, dang it! I'm supposed to defeat her. I know I'm supposed to defeat her. I just cannot find how. Well, dang it. <laughs> That's lame. Um. Oh, Saurus Rex. Hello. You're like easy as heck for some stupid reason. And. And. Come on. And you're dead. Okay. That was a big fight. Really close. <laughs> so, what do I do? What do I do? I should probably go save the Baron's daughter. Go to the brigands camp again. The problem is that my stats are not maxed up. And I would kind of like to have my stats maxed up before I go to the brigands camp. Because I'm pretty sure there is a good chance that the game is... Oh, gosh. The game is going to finish when I'm going to enter the brigands camp. Uh, well, not when I'm going to enter, but when I'm going to free the daughter of the Baron. So I should probably make sure my stats are maxed out because I would like to finish the game with max stats if possible. Okay, how are they going? My stamina is at max. My strength is not. My luck is close to be max. My health is one point away um mainly dodge and parry that's gonna be easy actually could i practice that i initially need to find like a few monsters to defeat i should have killed that goblin and just parry 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 the whole time and also i'm going to drink a stamina potion because i have a ton of them just because i can it's the it's the advantages of being a hero okay dodge 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 or whatever this is. It looks like dodging, but I don't think it really is. The troll just can't hit me for his life. How pathetic it is when you see this! This is a good lesson for me in the future. If I ever play this game again, the monsters would be a lot less hard to defeat if I did this for a few fights before going to the big guys. Because this... Like, you can avoid any hit with this once you're good. Well, not any. Close to any hit. Really close to any hit. Okay, now the other one. And I'm probably just gonna do this for my whole stamina. Well, not my whole stamina, but close to my whole stamina because I want to have enough to kill this guy. Don't need a lot to kill him though. That's for sure. Oh, he hit me again. I'm surprised. You're actually not completely sucky. Except I'm probably the guy who survived to a troll attack for the longest time ever. But that's just that's just because you're bad. Nothing else. Come on. <laughs> you really can't kill me, even if I let you. That's really lame. You should feel embarrassed. That would be an interesting way to win this fight. It just he gives up because he's embarrassed. Okay, let's kill this guy. My health is pretty low, surprisingly. And... Oh, he actually dodged that. Three times. And... He's dead. There we go. Okay. So you're lame as everyone else. That's good to know. Uh, what do you have? Troll beard. 20 silver coins. Okay. Trolls are not really worth it. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, okay, how it, are my stats doing on those? 76, both of them. What are the chances? What are the chances it would be exactly the same? I don't even know. How? How are they the same? I'm going to, whoops, wrong button. I'm going to pick this up, drink, whoops, drink that, and drink a healing. How many do I have left of these two potions? I have one healing, three vigor. Okay, I'm pretty close to be done with the potions. I thought I would have like five more. Guess not. 
Okay, let's go find another monster before the night ends. I want to see how fast my stats go up. At this point, I could probably, in the next day, try to beat the Swordmaster again. I want to do that. Because he's probably on my level now. <laughs> or I'm probably way above his. I'm not sure. One or the other. Oh, what is a Saurus? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> if you hit me once, if you hit me once, I would be honestly astonished. You can try your best. You're so cute when you're trying to hit. He just can't. He's like actually cute. It doesn't even look like he's trying to hurt me. We're just like, I don't know, hit me with his head. That does nothing. He's not even like trying to bite, it doesn't seem. This guy. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad. This episode is going to be so interesting for you guys. You're just going to see me do this for like the next half hour. This is great. Life is great. Everything's fine. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna hit me of a chili or are you still going to try forever and never, never actually succeed? When am I going to max these stats out? That's my question. The Swordmaster told me to practice these two things. So by the time I'm going to be done with this, I'm probably going to be an expert at dodging. That's for sure. What? What? That was so stupid! Why did I just stop? I could not move anymore! Did you guys see that? You did, because I'm recording this. <laughs> Unless my recording program is not going, and then I'm going to be really mad at the end of this video, I tell you. I already did that in the past. Not proud of it. Okay. Okay, now the other one. Yeah. This is quality content. What? I think my mouse is sliding off the button. I'm just gonna keep it here. This guy's actually doing damage to me. For some reason, I freeze sometimes. Is my computer lagging? I don't know why it would. Yeah, what? That's so stupid! How are you doing this? I have a lot of health to give. You hear my mouse clicking? I'm never stopping. Okay, I think I did enough. You're gonna die now. So I practiced a lot with that guy. Now let's see where are my, whoops, where are my stats? 91 and 81. My luck just went up to 100. That is perfect. Um, intelligence went up. I still don't know how to get my intelligence all the way up. That one seems to be the one that's going to take the most time. Well, magic. Yeah, look at my magic. <laughs> I'm just at seven. 7 magic and then 23 magic points. I should just like do random spells every now and then. I actually know where I could do some random spells. Um, but first, ring ring. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to first go to uh, buy some magic potions to the healer. Because that will help. And I also need some more health. So I'm going to do that as well. Let's go visit the healer. Where is she? I don't know. Because I'm kind of lost. That's fine. I'm used to be lost. I'm, I'm like so bad with directions in both games and real life. And I don't understand why. This is like the, it's the stupidest thing. But it's true. Where the heck am I going? Where? What? I don't recognize this part of the forest. Where am I going? I'm really lost. <laughs> what? Where is this? Hold on. What's down? Wait. Where am I? This is like, really? I never came here. I thought I explored the whole. Okay. What's here? This is leading to a passage going down. This is blocked off. 
What happens if I continue going down? At least to here. I think this might be the main forest. I just want something that I know. I just want to see something that I know. Okay, I know this place. This is the cave where Broggy lived before he left. So, if I just go... Oh. <laughs> Running on the ice. Pro they programmed that? If you run on the ice, you slip and fall. That is hilarious. I did think of that happening ever. Wow. Okay. So if you go north from Broggy's cave, and then you go to the left, and then from there you go north, then it leads to this area. You can go right from here, and you emerge in this passage, where, where you can continue to the right and go here. This is cool. Okay, I want to know where this is. Let's see my game to Zenith. So let's look around. The view is awesome from here. It reminds you of Yosemite National Park. <laughs> Very funny reference game. Very funny reference. I love you. The road seems to wind forever up the mountain. Oh, wait. This is a road? Like all this? That's a long way. <laughs> Where is that going? That's going like up the mountains. Ah, uh, it's quite an impressive rock group. Okay. Funny, you've never heard anything about the Great Wall of Spielberg before. You'll have to get a new travel agent. I don't need a travel agent. I'm a hero. I have all the things I want. I have like so much money. Like, look at this. See, I'm rich. Uh, I'm probably richer. Oh, a sun appears. It reads, Bienvenue. You're not, it's not written properly. <laughs> Amon, mag Amon Magie. What? Yeah, that's not written properly. It's supposed to have an E at the end and then an um, accent thingy going backwards on the A. What is that? Why? What? Another sun appears. It reads, Proceed at your own risk. Where? Why signs? This is a magical place. I don't like it. It smells like a witch. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. I had to be right back. The phone was not stopping to ring. So I fix that now. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So could it be a bottle of purple salad dressing? I'm pretty sure it's not. You feel as though you have just scaled the Matterhorn in full armor. What a climb. You can see all of Spielberg Valley from here. After you finally catch your breath, you see that you have reached the ladder, the ra the ladder, bleh, the rather eccentric looking house that you see saw from below. There is an ugly gargoyle above the entrance. Stand fast. He who would the wizard see first must answer questions three. What is your name? Zenith, I am Oz the Great and Terrible, Gunga Din, Elvis's Ghost, I'm so confused. I have to try these. I have to, I'm sorry. Elvis's Ghost, lost some weight, Elvis? You blew it, bub. Uh oh. He's laughing! I'm back here. Why? Welcome to Magic Mountain. Now go home. Oh my gosh. The guy who is doing this is going... <laughs> is going down, I swear. I'm going to save my game here. I feel like I'll have to climb up a couple times. What a great big beautiful sky. And I'm back here. You begin to think being eaten by a monster would be more fun than climbing this mountain. Oh, you again. Here come your questions. What is your name? Pun Puden Tame. Ask me again and I'll tell you the same. So I won't ask you. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm back down. Why, 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 why?
Okay. Welcome in of Zoberberg. I probably didn't say that right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Trespassers will be towed. Uh. I swear. I don't even know what to say. Purple Mountain's majesty about the fruity plain. This place is mountains above anything else in Spielberg. The climb seems longer every time, but you've made it. Oh, you again. Here come your questions. What is your name? Um. No, never mind. I'm tired of climbing this mountain. I'm Zenith. What is your quest? Um. I want to be a hero. I don't want to be a pirate. I don't seek the Holy Grail. I'm not dropping by in the neighborhood. Either hero or wizard. I'm both of them. And I'm a thief as well. So. This is all magic. I want to be a wizard? Who do you see here? Um, I know it's not Amelia or er, her. I swear, there's so many, like, there's so many different possibilities to say here. I'm pretty sure all of them have funny messages from this guy. Every time I say the wrong one, though, I'm going to go back up the mountain. Uh, Erasmus? I sure hope you got his pizza order next, right this time. The wizard will see you now. Go directly up the tower, up to the tower. Do not dolly. Okay. Um, I'm going to save this game to Erasmus. And I will run up in the tower. This room is full of odds, ends, and stuff. The wizard must be a real character. Oh my gosh. Yep. There are surely... Is that the... This... What? That's like the duck creatures that pick up water every now and then. With a balance. That is so weird. It's a famous Dunkin' Dragon. You haven't seen one of those in years. The poor stuffed peacock seems bedraggled, worn, and overused. Oh. You admire the plumage on the peacock. This is... <clears throat> Frog in the throat. This is a weird place, I tell ya. What is this? A casket with a stick shift? It's a useless... It's a useless lever. <laughs> you pull it, something goes from there, and then pulls it back, and then closes. So good, okay. Erasmus likes to keep his suits well ironed. Your eyes are drawn to the eyes of the figure in the portrait. His intense stare is unnerving. This would not be someone to trifle with, for he looks subtle and quick to anger. It was a moderately large and fearful dragon at one time. So the portal to the east sits through the portal to the east and sits all standing room only. There's a strange figure on the bookshelf. It looks like an overgrown rat wearing a wizard's hat. It's probably a bottle of gin. The stupid stool stands there steadily. That... <laughs> that is like a... Um, uh, tongue twister. The stupid stool stands there steadily. Kind of. Like, it's a start for one. If this one would be a S as well... That would be... That could be quite the tongue twister. Uh, I'll save my game again to Erasmus. And I'll just walk this way. Walk this way. Naughty, naughty. You were told to go straight up the stairs. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not dealing with that again. <laughs> I'll go up the stairs. Fine. I'll do what I'm supposed to do for once. Okay. Nope. Oh. Oh. Come in and sit down. Fenris, our guest has arrived. Cheese, please. Ah. 
the heck is this? What? What? <laughs> okay, the face of the sky. I swear, I'm gonna look around. To the east, the peaks of the Wolf's Bane Mountains are clearly visible. You are certain those are curtains. That's another, another good one. Certain curtains. Is it true that a monster can't hurt you if you're carrying a torch? Uh, think so? Actually, it depends on how fast you carry it. This stone is the base of the tower spire. What happens if I move the stone? You can't do much with that, okay. Yes, it's the culmination of your adventures thus far. Ionic, isn't it? <laughs> Why? Why am I here? The table is elaborately carved on the sides. Erasmus has a teacup on the table in front of him. The tea in the cup sitting on the table seems to refill itself as the wizard drinks. That's convenient. Then you can just drink how much you want. He maybe even has something in his stomach that makes it so he can drink forever. Do you know the difference between a rounded Triceratops and a magic user casting the fly spell? Uh, wind Triceratops and the magic user casting the fly spell. Um, no? One is a raging Saurus and the other is a soaring Magus. Ha ha. Ha ha. I figure one of them was a dying lizard and the other was a flying wizard. Sorry, Fenris, but he who tells a joke gets to make up the punchlines. This guy is great. I love him already. Fenris looks back at you with a grin. Okay, I'll ask about you. Ask about Fenris. What's, to, what's there to say? For a rat, I'm a really great guy. At least you're modest. Modest. <laughs> I said that wrong the other day, and someone corrected me for it. Although, for such a great guy, you're really a rat. Yeah. Erasmus. Erasmus is my familiar. Isn't that the other way around? Familiar is my Erasmus? Well, I've always found Erasmus to be overly familiar. No, no, I mean, aren't you my familiar? All these years, and you still don't know. Okay. Oh, I got a point for talking to him. Ask about Erasmus. I am a wizard of some renown. Okay. Fenris. What am I? Some sort of object? Am I invisible or something that you keep talking about me behind my back in front of my face? Shh. No respect. It's hard to take anyone very seriously who wears such a ridiculous hat. We best to wait until Erasmus puts down his cup of tea before asking any questions. Okay. Ask about magic. If magic be the loot of life, play on. The quote was music, not magic, and it was food, not loot. How about magic makes the world go around? Money makes the world go around. Oh. Very well then. To put it in my own words, magic is the essence and the soul of life, and the, with the wizard is her poet. Actually, it was Merlin who said that first, but he used the term magician, not wizard. Fenris, there are times when you would better look when you would look better as a newt. Why is that? Because newts can't talk. <laughs> Neither can most rats. Ah, they really hang out so well. They're just like brothers. Ask about Zara. Zara has a real flair for the theatric. Theatric. Theatric, theatric. I don't know. Her entrance at the magic shop is a bit showy but effective. It's a pity she has no sense of humor. Just because she doesn't laugh at your jokes doesn't mean she has she doesn't mean that she lacks a sense of humor. It just means that she has good taste. Okay. He didn't react to that insult. I'm surprised. Uh, ask him about Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is good at curses and shape-changing spells. She has a nasty temper and doesn't believe in safe hex. So it's be best to stay on her good side. You have to watch her. She cheats at cards. So do you. She said it at first. She started it at first. Besides, I wanted her to get a taste of her own medicine. Shame she still beats you. Do you know what you can do you know what you get when a Tyrannosaurus running twenty miles per hour eastward meets another Tyrannosaurus running fifty mile per, miles per hour westward? Uh no. Tyrannosaurus Rex Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm disappointed. Ask about curses. The curse Baba Yaga placed upon Baron von Zilberg was a fine example of creative cursing. Baron von Zilberg and all, and all his clan, this is the curse I now demand. What I shall, what I will, shall come full measure. 
So shall ye lose all that ye treasure. Of course, the problem is that for every curse, there is an equal and opposite counter curse. Ooh, I want to know what it is. Ask about counter curses. A counter curse is a cure for a curse. It usually works against the one who casts this curse in the first place. The counter curse for the curse of the Baron goes, Come a hero from the east, free the man from in the beast, free the child from out the band, drive the cursor from the land. So to break the curse, a hero must get rid of Baba Yaga in addition to all the other things. It does not reflect well on Baba Yaga. Nothing reflects well upon that ogress. She has a face that would break anything but a magic mirror. I see a magic mirror. There are many types of magic mirrors. One of the most common types is the one that has a strange face popping up every so often. Reminds me of the one in the master's bedroom. That's not magical. Nobody does have a strange face peering from it whenever you are in the room. At any rate, I used to have a nice magic hand mirror I misplaced around here somewhere. It can be used to reflect a spell back upon the caster. So if you happen upon a small golden magic mirror with a dragon handle on it, you'll know it's mine. It was a flag on with a dragon. The mirror had a leer. Oh, that's right. Well, if you find a magic mirror with a face on it, you'll know it reflects spells. I need to find that magic mirror. That's what I need! Her Baba Yaga, I can reflect her spell back to her and then she will be a frog. Do you hear the joke about the witch's broom? No. That's all, it is sweeping the valley. Aha, aha, aha. Let's just brush that one aside, shall we? These guys, these guys, I swear. I'm really excited to leave whenever I can. Irana. Never met her. I only built this vacation home here a century ago. Irana has a nice little magical meadow in her name northwest of here. Pretty respe respectable spellcaster, I imagine. The prediction spell she casts over the town is fairly good, but I believe she missed a few places. You're just jealous because the only thing anyone named after you was a soft drink. I thought that Erasmus's Razzle Dazzle Root Beer was a wonderful name for a product. It's a shame the company went broke afterwards. <laughs> Erasmus's Razzle Dazzle Root Beer? Oh my gosh, that that's totally something I want to try. <laughs> Ask about protection spell. Irana's spell prevents the use of excessive violence of, or hostile magic within Spielberg's walls, with the exception of a couple of places. Um, as well places. Looks to me as if she missed the back part of the alley, and the spell only applies to areas in town above the ground. Pretty shoddy if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Spellcasters. Basically, anyone who uses magic is a magic user. Anyone who casts spells is a spellcaster. However, to be a wizard, you need to have undergone initiation to, into the Wizards Institute of Tech Technosory in the land of Shapir. Magicians and sorcerers are wizards who specialize. I myself strive to master all aspects of magic, under like those narrow-minded specialists. You wouldn't want to lose your amateur, 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 I don't know how to say that, standing after all. I prefer to think of myself as a dil dilettante. Does that mean that you tease pickles? I don't even know what to say. Okay, before you say a joke. Initiation. You need to complete your quest here before you can become initiated as a wizard. That's probably what I'll have to do in the next game. Because I know in the next game you go to the land of Shaper. Ask about spells. It's important for a magic user to know as many spells as possible. You never know what, just what might come in handy. Do you have a scroll for me? Please tell me you have a scroll for me. That would be perfect. They're, they're supposed to have a warlock working with them. From what I've seen, he's more... A nincum poop than a necromancer. I don't even know what a nincum poop is. He laughs too much when he casts his spells. That's because his jokes are funnier than yours. Warlock. The only thing I've seen the Bergen Warlock cast is sneezing powder. Isn't that the vampire who fell in love with throats? No, no, that's a necromancer. Neck. A necromancer is a magic user who has a rather unsavory relationship with corpses. Does that mean a necromancer has gold friends? It means a necromancer is someone who deals with the undead. Can I start with cadavers and spades with shades, eh? I don't even want to know what that meant. Can I get a spell? Please. Hold on. There is. There must be a way to get a spell. Spellcasters. Uh-huh. 
Spells. Spells. Um, do you have a scroll for me? Do you know the difference between a Cheetor and a Kama? No. A Cheetor has claws at the end of its paws, and a Kama is a paws at the end of a claws. I want to get out of here. <laughs> I'm tired. Not in my house, you don't. What did I do? Bienvenue à mon magie. What? How did I get back here? Proceed at your own risk. How did I get back here? How? I just wanted to get up. Okay, I want to go back there. Perhaps the Tower of Power. Looks like a cross between a castle and an angry purple rhinoceros. Every muscle in your body is letting you know that this is great exercise. Oh, you again. Here come your questions. What is your name? Zenith. What is your quest? I want to be a wizard. What is the mean air speed of an unlighted swallow? Um, I don't know. Neither do I. Go on in. The wizard will see you now. Go directly up to the tower. Do not dolly. Okay. A mirror. I gotta find this mirror. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in this room somewhere. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That'll learn ya. Dang it! Nope. Never mind that then. Can I talk to this guy? You get no response. Really? I gotta find a way to get the dragon out of here. Hold on. Can I use magic here? Open. Detect. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Okay. Can I look in the crystal ball? This is a Zen lamp. You feel enlightened in its presence. I gotta find this mirror. Um. I'll learn ya. No. Dang it. Okay, restore the game again. I want to go up and just make sure that Erasmus doesn't have a scroll for me. If I can actually get up properly. And then I think I'll have to end the episode because I'm pretty late on time. Come in and sit down. Ferris Argus has arrived. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. He wants a cheese. Fine. Now, to get up, what do I do? Ah. Can I walk off? Yes. Not in my house, you don't. I can't walk in his house. Perfect! Well, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. I have to find this mirror somewhere. I do have to find this mirror somewhere. Can I use, like, the detect spell here? Just says no magic in this area. Pretty sure it's something to do with... Mmm. Come on. Pretty sure it's something to do with these rocks. Maybe, like, in this hole or something? I'll have to find it next episode. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode of Quest for Glory 1 VGA. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope prov I provided you with some measure for today. A smile on your face, a laugh, a chuckle. Something, something good. Because if I did, I'm happy. And that's what I'm trying to do with this. But anyways, that'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, look at that. Got more... 2,000 experience. I'm really, really close to finish this game. Anyways, see you next time. Metro Debrook out. Mm -hmm.